Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKing77.com here to continue my coverage on the Android M developer preview, this time with my Nexus 9, showing off a couple awesome new features, including multi-window and split keyboard. Now, uh, with multi-window, you had to actually change the build prop on the device to get it enabled. Split keyboard was there natively. Anyways, uh, one awesome update as well is anywhere you swipe down on your Nexus 9, is where the specific notification tray is actually go going to come down. So that's a nice addition. All right, so in settings, we're going to developer options and scrolling down and you will see multi-window mode right here. You won't see it unless you change your build prop, like I said. So multi-window mode right there enabled. Let's go ahead and check it out. So if I go to recent apps, you will see a little square box next to an X in all of these apps. So let's go ahead and try it out. So if I press one of them, you'll see you have a layout of various options so we can test one of them. So uh, it's very buggy, make note, um, it doesn't work how it should, but I'm gonna try bottom left. So settings opens up and you'll see a bunch of recent apps open up. So here's four apps at once and it actually works surprisingly well. So here's my website running. If I wanna switch over to settings real quick, go to about tablet, um, you'll see it worked. And let's try doing a five times two equals 10. And then you have a calendar as well. And look at how quick and seamless it is to switch between all of these various apps. Um, it's very easy. Like I said, it's super buggy, so there's no way to configure it. Uh, if I wanna close out of it, if I press back, you'll see it closes out of this one. Um, and then you'll see, there we go. It just kind of closed all of them when I tapped out of all of them. So let's go ahead and try a different layout. So going into the left layout. And like I said, it just, it's buggy. So it opens up the other side of another app. It doesn't leave it open for another app or if you want to edit your home screen, etc. But like I said, same as before works really well swapping between the two. It's a really nice preview. I don't know why they didn't include it just as a preview. I mean, like I said, it's super buggy. There's really no usability of it just because, see, look at I backed out of it and there's settings in the bottom left-hand corner randomly. No big deal though, just because, hey, it's just a nice preview. And then you'll notice when I actually press it again, the box goes away. It actually just shows up as a side. Um, so if you wanted to do it as a new layout, you can. If I hit cancel and goes into that app, it opens it into that specific layout. So it's up to you if you want to have it always open up in a specific layout. All right, and finally, within the Google keyboard settings, there's enable split layout, which is great for tablets. So I've enabled it. Let's go ahead and try, and you'll see, here it is. So here's the split layout on the Nexus 9. This is more tablet centered, I'm sure. Uh, it makes it so much easier to just, when you're in horizontal as opposed to vertical, this is a test. Obviously, it's very hard with the camera in front of me to type, but there you go. So obviously, with it horizontal, you can essentially reach all of the keys on your keyboard. So that's really about it. Just wanted to show you guys a couple awesome new features. Multi-window mode, I don't know if it's gonna be included or if it'll be updated. I'll keep you guys updated, of course, so you can uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, more videos to come very soon. If you give this video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And that's really about it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Thank you